David Only, this is You Never Know, just uh, back off the road from a northeast run. We went up to Columbus, Ohio, and Newport, Rhode Island, Worcester, Mass, Hinesburg, Vermont, Rochester, New York, and New York, New York, and it was... We made it. Uh, but uh, the last one we did uh, was at uh, Catherine Bloss's house concert in New York City, which is just a really cool place to play and over the course of the night uh, I saw Diane Diana jo Diane Jones and uh, is it Diana or Diane? Diana. Diana, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, Jones and we got to swap stories and it was really lovely talking to her and uh, a friend of hers, Paul Sachs, uh, played a couple of songs and he's really good so S A C H S uh, keep your eye out I think he's gonna have some kind of product out there I thought he was really good and he sang a duet with uh, Diana that was really cool um, also Ina Mae Wool played a song and you know it was really good and talked with her a little bit between sets and a uh, really nice person and who else? Oh, I saw Erica Smith, my old friend Erica Smith, who was uh, uh, newly become a mom, but uh, she's, she, I've always thought she's one of the best singers I ever heard. And I uh, hope she's up there working on some new project. And uh, and then I drove home. And uh, so sorry about the video in the car. I don't know. You push a button and you point it in a certain direction and hope everything... Uh, turns out all right but anyway so here's a special edition of you never know oh wait a minute i gotta tell you what's coming up okay wait a minute here here's uh brennan lee rb morrison boo -boo, yeah me uh november songwriters in the round at balsam mountain inn which is a really cool place in north carolina uh just like it's like an old ram I'm not going to, Victorian. Uh, it's like going back to 1910. It's really a cool place. Really nice. And uh, me and Sergio, uh, where is this? Where is this? Uh, 360. 360. Above me. Huh? 360 Burger. Uh, 360 Burger uh, in uh, uh, Nashville, here. And that's uh, Ava Gardner. They tell me that if I play this, I'll meet her. So, yes. Uh, and then, uh, okay, here's the big European tour. Uh, it's, uh, you know, the Netherlands and a couple of gigs in Germany. So, there you go. Hide the women and children. Um, okay, so, huh? Halloween. It's Halloween. It's next to Halloween, and um, it's uh, scary times, and uh, so eat lots of candy. And uh, here's a song that's a good one for Halloween. This is called Scarecrow Man.
voice cracked and crazed He was near swallowed up in the storm Tattered and tossed Abandoned and lost He beat on the farmhouse door For the love of God let me in He cried I'll die if you don't lend a hand He pleaded and he begged And he bellowed like the wind Have mercy on the scarecrow man But she could not be stirred to answer those pitiful cries. The storm grew in violence. She clung to the silence. She held to the safety inside. She'd heard the rumors, the stories, the tales of things she could not understand. Of the cold-blooded scarecrow man Well, the lightning did flash And the thunder did crash And the cattle were frozen in fear and groans and unnatural moans echoed in the tornado air. The old widow sank and she breathed her last sigh and she died on the farmhouse floor. The sun chased the clouds and the wind ceased to howl and the air was as still as before Well the old widow's dead and her spirit has fled to some far and mysterious land there by the door, there's a handful of straw, all that's left of the scarecrow man. There by the door, there's a handful of straw, all that's left of the scarecrow Scarecrow Man, uh, you don't get a lot of songs with dead widows in them, but uh, there you go. Uh, I guess I, that song is about uh, uh, terrorism and the things that terrify us die when uh, when we're dead. And so look on the bright side. You know, we got Ebola and we got ISIS and all that stuff. But uh, most of the fear we deal with is, you know, we create ourselves and become convinced. Uh, so, you know, what I think, these movies about the walking dead and zombies and stuff, I think that's some kind of fear of immigrants. People view uh, people coming across the border as being... And, uh, and people have to carry guns all the time. You know... It's like chicken shit, basically. You know, a lot of people go out and face the world every day, and they don't need a gun. But some people think that, you know, they're not going to be able to handle it, so they better have some heat on them. 
Okay, I'll get stop this. Okay, I hope everyone's having a lovely Halloween, and I'll see you uh, next time around. Whoops, turn that off. Okay, goodbye. You never know. You never know.